Um, so the last example of how we've been using these 3D printing processes that I wanted to give you is going more into this idea of bioprinting, right? Uh, as opposed to conventional 3D printing. And I think that the key difference here, and this is quite a controversial definition, is that when you're doing 3D printing applied to medicine, um, essentially you're using inks that don't have any living biological material, right? Living cells, essentially. I think that that's the main difference that sets bioprinting apart from conventional 3D printing. And as I said, this definition varies uh, depending on who you ask, but our interpretation is that when you start printing with living cells, the whole printing process changes drastically. And the reason for that is because all of your uh, parameters that you would use to control the printing process, temperature, pH, all of your sintering, the high temperature lasers and light that you use to do, you know, like metal printing and so on and so forth, all that goes down the drain. 